Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a book review and the book I'm going to be talking about is called The Farm by Joanne Ramos. I found out about The Farm from Emma Roberts book club called The Bellatrist and it was part of the May book pick and I ended up reading it for June but I am so glad that I read this book because it's so good. The Farm is basically about a bunch of immigrant women that go to this facility called Golden Oaks. Now Golden Oaks Oaks is the farm. It's a facility where they provide hosts for wealthy clients. So basically these hosts become surrogate mothers that carry babies for these like wealthy clients. The story of the farm follows a main character called Jane who is an immigrant from the Philippines. Now Jane is just basically looking for a better life for her daughter Amalia. Um, she has a newborn baby called Amalia and she just wants a better future for her. So Jane Jane basically lives with her cousin Evelyn in New York City and she becomes a baby nurse. So through baby nursing she kind of finds her way to Golden Oaks. Um, something kind of happens in baby nursing that kind of leads her to Golden Oaks. Now she is introduced to the farm from her cousin Evelyn. She ends up getting the job. She meets May who is basically in charge of Golden Oaks. She basically tells um, Jane about this facility and what happens and how most of the women there basically carry a baby for nine months for these clients. And as soon as they give birth to the baby they are given a lot of money. So um, Jane basically joins Golden Golden Oaks so she can get enough money to help provide for Amalia. So Jane, when she joins the farm, she's a bit reserved. Um, she doesn't really try to socialize with many people. And then that is where you find her um, introduced to her roommate, Reagan. Now Reagan is American and Reagan really wants to try to get to know Jane and like form a really nice friendship. But Jane's not really interested at first. The farm is basically like this really nice place where they have yoga classes, they have a pool. The farm is basically like paradise for these women. So everything seems perfect, everything seems fine at first, but there's like a lot of security and surveillance because once you enter the farm, you have to give away your phones and you can't take pictures in the farm, you can't go outside of the farm without a coordinator around. And they give you like these wristbands to like check you in and everything you do is like monitored so it's kind of like creepy so let's talk about characters start with Evelyn so Evelyn is the cousin to Jane and Evelyn is like so Evelyn has family back in the Philippines and she moved to the States to provide for her family back in the Philippines she has a son named Roy Roy is disabled due to I think a motor accident so Evelyn sends money to Roy every now and then and she also has two daughters as well that she sends money to. Evelyn works so hard. She works as a baby nurse. She also has a catering job. So while Jane is in Golden Oaks, Evelyn is actually taking care of Amalia, Jane's baby. And throughout like the book, you will see how Jane tries to like deal with that or cope with that. It's kind of hard for her to not be able to see how Amalia is doing. She can only communicate with Evelyn through this um, computer at the library at the facility and sometimes the connection is not good. Sometimes Evelyn is a bit like dodgy. She doesn't really want to talk and sometimes Amalia seems like she's not okay so it makes it really frustrating for Jane when she's trying to communicate with her cousin. Now for May, May is um, in charge of Golden Oaks. She is also engaged, so she's basically planning her wedding at the same time to her fiance, Ethan. And so she's basically under a lot of stress because not only does she have to run this big facility, but she's also planning her wedding. Um, some of the main characters kind of cause a stir in the farm and she has to deal with that and she pretty much has to cover up a lot of things. Now you have Reagan. Reagan is Jane's roommate and Reagan comes from a really rich family. Like her dad is very wealthy. Her mom um, has Alzheimer's. Megan is a deep thinker and she thinks a lot about the world and what's right and what's wrong. And she definitely like 
cares so much about Jane and she understands that Jane is somebody that's not given the same opportunities that she was given so she always cares about her and wants Jane to have like a better life. So another thing about the farm is that the book kind of makes it seem like something creepy is going to happen at the farm um, but nothing bad ever happens. I love the characters. I love the spookiness to the story. I thought it was really good. It gave a bit of mystery and yeah I just really loved that. The Farm by Joanne Ramos is definitely a great summer read and I highly recommend it to you guys to check it out. I will link the book in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!